hey guys welcome back to my channel i'll be doing another diy um here is this one it's another calyx it's actually uh this is the one that i diy if you guys saw my video and i appreciate all the likes and the f subscribers and please do subscribe to my channel and like my other um, DIYs. So today I'll be doing, uh, I'll be DIYing this. I'm just gonna, okay, so there you go. I'm gonna start, oh, I bought this um, at Michael's. Yeah, if you guys don't know, like I don't want it to order online cause it's gonna take a while cause I wanna do it right now. So I found one at Michael's, it's not the same thing. It's not the same um, texture, but we can work it out. So I got my the wood uh, cut already. I'll be listing it down below the measurement and the stuff about them. And yeah. so I don't know what's the measure right now, but I'll. Uh, it's gonna be dark alone. Okay. So you need all this bunch of stuff. Uh, this one, I don't know how you call it. And this one, I don't know how you call it, but it will be list. And the details, oh my god, yeah. So you need this for the door, like to open it, you know, and this one to like attach them together like this. So you want to take the pieces that you cut and assemble them how you want it. Like that. Yeah. And after that, I take one of the, how you call it, flat corner braces. I put it under there just to measure it so it's like 90 degree I put on each corner so everything is 90 degree and then I put the Gorilla Glue and then I don't know why I put the flat corner braces on top of it I think just to see how it looks like but yeah and don't forget to put a little bit because there I put too much and coming on the floor good thing I saw it and wiped it cleaned it right away okay guys so I just finished my back hurts I'm gonna spray paint it now. Yeah, I'm gonna spray paint it. Uh, flat black. So I'm gonna spray paint it. Second coat, here we go.
put the thing you have to turn your door cabinet the other side because that's where we're gonna staple it so you want to make sure it's not too small not too tight So I'm going to show you guys how I put the hinges. I needed two of these just in case it's not stable. I put one each corner the same like up and down but I don't know I'm still figuring it out like where to put it and I don't know how to, how to explain this to you guys but like in the video I'm showing it how it's positioned. So, good luck who's copying me. Sorry. To assemble the door, you actually need an extra hand, um, ask someone to help you because it was difficult to assemble the door. And yep, that's me arguing with him. So this is the result so far. Um, as you can see here, it doesn't close. Oops, it doesn't close because of the here. This thing, the I forgot what I call it, the hinge hinges. The hinges is on top of uh, the stapler stapler gun. Yeah, thing to staple to staple this. So this one, it's on top. I mean, this one is on top of it, so that's why it's making like this. So I'm gonna close that up. So I bought, this one's okay, this one is okay. So I'm gonna close, I'm gonna close that. 
I mean, what a close that. Where's that? Oh, here. I bought this magnetic um, front door. Why is there five? With four. Yeah, I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna explain to you guys how this works here. This one here goes here, like this. And then the metal part goes where you here. So when the door closes, that will be man. So yeah. This doorknobs that I use for my kitchen. Uh, I'm gonna use it for the Kylax. I don't wanna buy another one, so. But I was thinking to uh, <clears throat> to change the color. So if you guys are wondering where I got these, um, and they're from Amazon. Uh, Thirty pieces for twenty five, between twenty five to thirty dollars. So it's really cheap. Um, but if you guys are one like some sort of like different style, just get it from somewhere else. So I'm really gonna stick to this one because I just don't want to buy another one, different style. So I'm gonna spray paint, it, spray paint it with this. I already have this one, so because I don't want to buy another one again, so I already have this. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna spray paint it with this. Is it this one? Yeah. So yes. I want to show you guys how I install my door cabinet handle door cabinet handle yeah so I use this tape like for the paint and make sure you measure it like it's the same size as the door handle the holes you have to put the door handle on top of the tape like that make sure it's straight night sideways or else your door no door knob is gonna be like sideways door handle sorry and then get a mark here and put a mark where the hole is like where you're gonna drill it so as you can see I already put one and I'm just gonna show you guys how I put it put it and you put the tape where you put the hole, make sure it's even, and just like that. And easy, just throw the tape and put the door handle. So, there you have it. Um, it took me like uh, let's say two days. Well, it would have taken me like one day, like full, full day, but I did like half day yesterday and then half day today. So yeah, if I miss any like instruction, please comment down below so I can just explain it. But yeah, there's like a, a gap here, see? But whatevs. So yeah, hope you guys like it.